Risk of Rain 2. You know it. What the fuck? You love it. What? I love it. And I love Engineer. And you know what engineers love? Turrets. And I love turrets. But you know what I don't love? These, um... These things, so... Let's talk about it. So, Engineer has his normal turrets and his mobile turrets. The normal turrets, what do they do? They just shoot things. And that's literally it. But they're great. You place them down and they just shoot things and they inherit your items really well. Stuff like busting fungus for obvious reasons, you know, it heals you when you aren't moving. The turrets don't move. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, they're absolutely great. Mwah mwah, kiss kiss, love them. But now it's time to talk about these things. So for the mobile turrets, uh, what do they do? They do a decent damage, they can jump, and obviously they can move, but it will slowly become more of a inconvenience than a feature, but we'll talk about that later. So what don't the mobile turrets do? Well, for starters, the range is absolutely terrible compared to the normal turrets, but that's kind of the trade-off you have to give for them being able to move. However, sometimes it can be so bad that they will have to enter kissing distance for them to start finally shooting at something, and other times they will just stare at an enemy like a five-year-old looking at a disabled person. They are so bad that even selecting them as my ability at the menu made my fucking cat look at me like... However, uh, despite it all, they are pretty funny. You can do some pretty stupid things with them that are honestly hilarious. One of my favorite things to do with them is to grab a corrupt cell, make a third one, and now I can have triplets. A few days ago, I was playing Artifact of Command to see how powerful and crazy I can get these turrets to become. And I was able to come across two certain void items. And I don't feel like going into details as to what they do. You can go read the wiki if you want. But basically this, plus this, plus these, equaled this. And it just got crazier and crazier throughout my whole run with more Void allies spawning. And by the time I got to the Mythic Shrine, it was beyond unfair. It was like a Bronx gang assault. However, these turrets are as funny as they are inconsistent. And sometimes they can be so good at being terrible that I just want to fucking smash my head through a wall. <laughs> Unless you have like 15 goat hooves or mochas, they are not keeping up with you. They are insanely slow. Don't get me wrong though, the mobile turrets can move, but that doesn't make them more viable than the normal turrets. If I had to choose between the normal turrets and the mobile turrets, the normal turrets are far more consistent because I guarantee you, wherever you decide to put your stationary turrets, it won't immediately try to off itself. You always know where your normal turrets are at all times, where if you try to drop two mobile turrets and expect them to follow you, half the time they're off on the other side of the stage having a fucking thumb war. And they would be much better at keeping up with you if they were able to use energy drinks. Which brings me to my biggest gripe with the mobile turrets, and that's the fact that no sprinting item has any effect on them. Which includes energy drink, rose buckler, little disciple, and most importantly, You'll eat anything. What? I won't eat anything. I'm pretty discerning. Eat this. No. What was that? The normal stationary turrets get to use bustling fungus amazingly. I feel like if the mobile turrets got to use weeping fungus, it would make perfect sense. So, despite everything, should you use them? Yes! Absolutely. If you play Engineer and you find yourself getting bored of his normal gameplay, then try them out. They're pretty fun and they're a nice change of pace. You find yourself using items that sometimes aren't the greatest on the normal turrets. Between you and me, Peggy, I smoked this jewel and it did unthinkable things to my mind and body. However, if you're going to use them, I absolutely recommend running the Thermal Harpoon ability. That way you can actually defend yourself against more airborne enemies because, you know, your turrets might be literally anywhere else. Not only that, but attempting to use the shield bubble on these guys is a fucking terrible idea. More than half the time, they will just 
leave it with no concern for their well-being. And for anyone wondering if you can strap mines to these things and have them run in like a fucking Black Ops 3 score streak, you absolutely can. In conclusion, how would I make them better? Make them sprint, that's it. Hands down, no question. If I had to choose one thing, it would make them sprinting. Like, them unaliving themselves sometimes and playing hopscotch far away from you can suck, but it kind of adds to the fun in a weird way. And for my last thought, this is something that is kind of just more like a personal change that I would like. It's not like something that I feel needs to happen. Nothing in this video I feel like needs to happen. It's just been my thoughts, but I would love if pinging as engineer could actually like control your turrets. For example, if you're using the normal turret and there's a boss that you need to kill, if you pinged it, the turrets would shoot at it until you either ping something else, unping it, or it dies. Because so many times during boss fights when I put down turrets, they'll just shoot at like little Lemurians and then I just get fucking bodied by the boss. And if you're using the mobile turrets, you can ping enemies to make them shoot at it as well. And also if you ping at a certain area, it'll make them run over there with no second thought. They'll just go there and then they're there. And I think that'd be great. I think this would be a great change to kind of give Engineer more control over his turrets and it would just make him more fun in general but yeah that basically wraps up my thoughts you know it's kind of weird making a video talking about a subject in this game despite it being out for almost five years now but who cares it was fun yes.